So hello guys, in the last part, we, in the last video, we end up here, the low definition, exercise number 11, so let's do it, let me switch to robot and go to the loads layout, I'm going to press add to define that load number one self weight, and now I am going to define three live loads, one, two, and three. I'm also defining two wind loads, wind load number one and wind load number two. Now let me select live load one. I want to define things for this load. And I'm going to select a surface planner uniform load. It will be minus 2.5 kN per meter square. Okay. I'm going to add and select number one. Apply. The load will be applied. Okay. Now I'm going to select uniform planner load on contour. I'm going to select live load two. First of all. Okay. Live load two, as you may see over here okay and now I'm going to enter minus 2 over here and on a contour definition I'm going to make these coordinates over here 0 0 0 add 30 0 0 add 30, 1.50 and 0, 1.50, add, and I'm going to apply to object number one, apply, there you go, as you may see, slow over the right side, where you have a length over here of 1.5 meters okay so now um let me switch to load live uh live load number three and once again it will be a contour load just like the previous one okay over here it will be minus two and the counter definition will be 0, 4.5, 0, add, will be a 30, add, will be a 6 over here, add, and 0, 6, add. I'm going to apply it and apply it to the object number 1. Okay, it's over the left side. As you may see here, this is load, live load three, live load two, live load one. Okay, very good. Now I want to go to the view menu projection. Z, X. I'm going to select the wind one load. I'm going to define it over here in this table format. I'm going to select wind load number five. It will be a sorry, I want this. I'm going to delete. It will be a nodal force. The list will be all of these nodes, all of the nodes presented in this truss. I want to apply a F Y force of 10. Just pressing tab. I'm going to projection in 3D. As you may see, the load has been applied to all of these nodes. Okay. Now I want to define to define the load number six, 
which will be also a node of arts. And I'm going to select the four left nodes of both trusses. This nodes and also this nodes. Okay, four nodes, and I want to apply an FX force of six. Okay, very good, and there you go. So, in the next video, we will work on the definition of the moving load applied to the bridge floor. Okay, so thank you very much, and uh, please subscribe.